At Northern Michigan University, these students are not taking a French or Chinese language course. They're learning Anishinaabe Moyen, the language of the Ojibwa, Potawatomi, and Odawa Indians. The revitalization of the uh, culture and the language here up at Marquette and Northern Michigan University is really important to me for because I've never been educated on the subject through my high school and elementary years. Many Native Americans are growing up without the language, making it much harder for them to connect with their culture and heritage. Knowing the language is the most important thing because, uh, as you heard Leora say, uh, all of our stories, everything that we know, everything that you want to know, is done through the language. It's not written down. You have to go to elders. You have to go to these areas to learn the language, to learn the stories. There are probably less than 50 first speakers left in Michigan and many are above 60. First speakers are individuals who grow up with the Anishinaabe Moyan language as their first language. Native American communities around the continent lost their languages and cultures not by chance, but because it was taken from them. Because the uh, onslaught of uh, European culture, the, you know, the ideas that were stripped away from us, our, our own cultural identity, you know, there was a, a conspiracy amongst uh, European colonizers uh, that they would uh, kill the Indian and save the man. And so the idea was to strip away our culture and by not allowing us to speak our language, uh, that was one of the ways they tried to accomplish that. The language has survived and is making a comeback. When we're trying to revitalize our language, it's really a matter of revitalizing our culture. You know, it's a, it's a core um, component of our cultural identity. And so it's kind of funny when you uh, see how the language is growing. And that's a good sign. It's a sign of a healthy language. Uh, when the language adapts to new circumstances. Reporting in Marquette, I'm Matt Miller for ABC 10 and CW5.